Shea Bear 1000 here. Today I want to talk about something horrible that's going on and it's really bothering me. I want to give my input on it. Stay tuned, we're going to talk about that. Okay guys, you probably already know what I want to talk about, but I want to talk about um, George Floyd's death, okay, um, and how he was murdered. Yes, I said murdered because this is my feelings and this is my input on it. Um, I want to talk about that. Um, here's just a quick clip of kind of what was happening. I'm not going to show the whole thing, but this is what was going on. My stomach hurts. My neck hurts. Everything hurts. Ah, there's water from me. Now, so today, they formally filed charges on the officer that blatantly murdered this man. I don't care what anybody says. I seen it. And they filed charges on him for third degree murder and manslaughter. Possible charges pending. But here's the thing, guys. Um, you know, I, I seen it. I, I seen the video. I've got the video clip. Um, you see what's, you know, if you guys have seen it, if you haven't, you know, maybe look it up on YouTube, but it's, it's pretty disturbing. You know, you can hear him begging for water. This cop held his knee in this guy's neck, in his neck, for eight minutes, eight fucking minutes, with his hand just, just sitting there. And if anybody came over to try to help, the other officer backed him off. And at one time, he pulled his pepper spray out, his mace. He was going to mace people. What, is wrong with you? what the fuck? He got mace. He got mace. I think it's bullshit. Okay? Um, what a lot of people don't know is uh, this officer has 18 complaints against him before this. 18. How many complaints does it take on an officer before there's an investigation? You know? How many? So, they formally filed charges on him. So, um, take take a look at this, and then I'll give you my input on this. Um, I must say that this case has moved with extraordinary speed. This conduct, this criminal action, took place on Monday evening, May 25th, Memorial Day. I'm speaking to you at 1 o'clock on Friday, May 29th. That's less than four days. That's extraordinary. Okay, so he's saying that they they wanted to make sure they had all the evidence and all this bullshit. What what more evidence do they need? There was multiple camera angles. That one camera right there of the video clip I showed you, which is what eight minutes long. It's nine minutes long. Nine minutes forty one seconds long. Okay. How much more proof do you need before you file formally file charges on an officer? Okay. He, come on, this this don't seem right. Listen to what he says here. This is by far the fastest we've ever charged a police officer. Okay, normally these cases can take nine months to a year. We Are you fucking kidding me? Nine months to a year? Are you serious? You've got to be kidding me. I mean, people has been charged tried and convicted of murder in that amount of time and you're gonna say it takes all it takes it takes it takes up to a year to to uh to file charges why because he's a fucking cop he's a piece of shit he's a piece of shit cop all four of them are pieces of shit cops i'm not saying every cop is bad but right there that shows all four of them's a piece of shit you know he blankly murdered that guy in broad daylight in front of cameras. He don't give a shit. You can see him. He just don't care. He don't care. I'm sorry, but if I was there, I'd have to risk my freedom to kick that fucking cop's ass off of him. You know? That's bullshit. Handcuffed. 
You know, the last thing that man knew was he was handcuffed on the ground getting arrested. That's the last thing. He died in handcuffs on the fucking street. You're a piece of shit cop. Any cop that does that is a piece of shit thinking, you know, they're supposed to protect us. And and I've, I've had them tell me this. See this badge? I can do what I want. This badge says I'm the law. No, number one, you guys are not the law. You're sworn to uphold the law and to protect our rights. You are not the law. No way in hell are you the law. You know, you're, you're supposed to uphold the law and you're breaking the laws when you're doing that. Can you believe it? Let's say, for instance, somebody's breaking in the bedroom, my bedroom window at night. I take a ball bat. Boom. Pop him on the fucking head. He gets an aneurysm and dies. I'm going to jail right then and there. No questions asked. And I will be in jail until I get bonded out. Until, let's say I've got video running. Well, it doesn't matter. Until, you know, either... Either they decide, okay, it was in self-defense. He was he was concerned for his life and his fiance's life, you know. Or a jury, or a jury says, you know, well, he he acted okay. But until then, that night I would be thrown in jail. It wouldn't take almost up to a year just to file charges on me. Fuck no, it wouldn't. You know. And if you ask me, all this rioting and. And all this, these fires and shit that's going on, I don't think ever would have happened if they'd have fucking arrested him just as well as they would arrest anybody else. Especially if there's a camera involved. You know, you're getting charged right then and there. You're going to jail and you're getting charged. I think it's fucking bullshit. I think they all need to be charged with stuff. I think the other three need to be, <coughs> excuse me, charged with accessory or something. Because nobody did anything. They're all holding him down. He's not moving. He wasn't fighting you. That's the first thing they fucking say. That's a f I know. I know it from a fact. Okay? I'm living proof of it. I know what they do. I know what they do. Quit resisting. Quit resisting. How the fuck can you resist when you got four cops on you? You got knees in your back, one on your fucking throat, two guys holding you down on your legs, and you're already handcuffed? How the fuck is anybody resisting? That's bullshit. That's bullshit. You know, 18 complaints against him. Why wouldn't the first one? Or the second one? Even the third one? Why wasn't something done then? Why wasn't something done then? You know, I mean, our judicial system, our, our laws, you know, yeah, the laws, the guys that carry the badge, the laws, who think they're the law when they're not, they're supposed to uphold the law. You know, what What the fuck? What happened? What happened here? You know, out of all the cops in this fucking country, you could probably count on your, on your hands how many honest ones there are. You know, that's just, this is my opinion. I, you can look up the statistics and comment below how wrong I am, but you know what I mean. You know what I mean. You know, I, I mean... The, over what was it a twenty dollar he was trying to pass a, a twenty dollar bill that was you know that wasn't a real bill it was fake money come on guys let's think about it how many times do you think in our lifetime I'm 51 I've, I've had a lot of twenty dollar bills that we may have gotten and passed it have to go through that that was counterfeit it happens Maybe he didn't even fucking know. I mean, the man sure as hell didn't look like he's got an operation where he's bleaching the bills and putting $20 on it. Because if I was going to bleach a bill, it would be a fucking $100 bill. I mean, the man just, to me, doesn't seem like he, he's that kind of person that he knew he was trying to pass a $20 bill on. 20, 10, 20, whatever it was. I think it was 20. It might have been 10, which would even be worse. It, that just doesn't make sense that a man has to die over a counterfeit bill. That's bullshit. And because they are the law? No, you're fucking not the law. Give me five minutes alone with that cocksucker. Man, I'm telling you, this this, this is why, this right here is why people fucking hate cops. Because you can't trust them. 
any of them, even the good ones, because you don't know if they're good or not. You don't know. That's why so many people run. Watch, watch the damn. You know, I, I've I've got two two car chases just in front of the house that I caught on 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 my security cameras. That's not how many I've seen. Just seen. You know, going past the house running from because they're fucking scared of you guys. They're scared of you because you're the law. You know. You say we don't know our rights. Bullshit. You guys don't know our rights, which you are are sworn to protect our rights. This is bullshit. And like I said, I don't care what anybody says. You can hate me, whatever. But I do honestly believe in my heart that had they charged that fucking officer that night instead of, well, he was fired within 24 hours. Isn't that fucking great? No, it ain't. If he'd have been charged right then, none of this shit would be happening. None of these fires... You know, bullshit. People's had enough. They've had enough. 18 complaints on, on, on that officer before now. And he still had a fucking job. That's bullshit. L listen, to, listen to some more of what this guy says. You know, he, he's the attorney. Okay, listen to this. And, and he's pretty... If you ask me, look at his demeanor and the way he's answering questions. If you ask me... He didn't even want to fucking file charges. But now, you know, there's no choice. They, they have no choice. They had to. They had to do something. Right? Now, probably get out of it. One way or another, there'll be some kind of loophole or something. They'll, you know. But, but just, just okay, just look, look at him for a minute. Just how he's acting. He's so fucking smug and obtuse. It just pisses me off. Check this out. I'm not going to speculate today of the other officers. They are under investigation. I anticipate charges, but I'm not going to get into that. Today we're talking about former Officer Chauvin, which we believe has met the standards to be charged, and that's what we have done. Mike, I've seen you charge other cases. Degree. Whoa, 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 whoa. How, how, how closely did you look at the second degree statutes, statute, either intentional or unintentional, uh, that, that on the surface seem to fit this, um, the videotape evidence we, we've all seen? We have looked very closely at all statutes. This is what we've charged now. You see what I mean? He acted like, you know, I don't know why we need to do this. This is, you know, the way he's acting to, to me. This is what I'm saying is he, he I don't know why, what, what's the big deal? The big deal is he blatantly murdered somebody and you took this fucking long to file charges. Like I said, if somebody's breaking in my fucking house, if I'm holding them, until the cops get here and I'm afraid to let him up and he happens to fucking die my ass is going to jail that fucking night. I'm going to have a bond so high. If I have a bond, it's going to be so high that I'll never be able to afford it. And I'm going to sit my fucking happy ass in jail until something, you know, comes of it. You know, it won't take up to a year to file charges on me. Especially if I, if I got a camera. Come on, or somebody's filming it. You know... You heard him. Uh, we had to get all the evidence. Um, we have now been able to put together the evidence that we need. So it took us this long, but it's it's the fastest, the fastest they've ever charged someone with murder. Are you fucking kidding me? That is a bold-faced lie, too. And I hope this video goes viral, and I hope he sees it. Because you know what? You're a piece of shit, too. Jesus Christ, you know, all this shit going on. Because of one selfish son of a bitch who just blatantly is the law because he wears that badge, he can do what he wants to do. And then trying to get people away that's trying to help the fucking man. No, if he was down and getting choked, he'd want somebody to help him, wouldn't he? You know, no, he pulls somebody over. He's got to call his buddies. Uh, yeah, I need backup here immediately. I got a 70 year old woman that's weaving. She could be drunk. Send backup now. Chicken shit, motherfuckers. Jesus Christ, back in the day, one officer could go and arrest somebody because they had respect for him. If somebody's breaking the law, they're still a human being. Because they had respect for them, and we had respect for the, for, for the officers. Not anymore. We're, we're all scared of you. That's what you want? You want to rule the fucking world? Look what happens. One city, look what happened when you try to do this shit. And you try to play these fucking games with people. That's bullshit. And you know what? My heart goes out to the family. If you guys happen to see this, I'm sorry to each and every one of you. I'm sorry that this had to happen like this. Because, well, actually it didn't have to happen. But I, I'm very sorry 
that it did, and I'm very sorry that we can't trust the cops, we can't trust the police department, we can't trust the judicial system, we can't trust anybody. And it's bullshit. It needs to stop. But that's my take on it. That's my rant, whatever you want to call it, but, you know, that's my feelings on it. I could go on for an hour or more easy, but that's just it in a nutshell. And I think there, there needs to be more investigation, if you want to call it that, into the other officers. Because there are different camera angles. It's bullshit. Stop killing people. You're not the law. You're sworn to uphold the fucking law. Do your fucking job. You know, you want to get technical? He's your boss. You killed your fucking boss, you dumbass. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for listening to my rant. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And uh, we'll chat soon. Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. I'm gone for now. Bye-bye, guys. Take care. The fact that you guys aren't checking his pulse and doing compressions if he needs them, you guys are on another level. Oh my god, bro. Okay. They just dragging him like, come on now. And I have your name tag, bitch.